Um, well, meantime, now the Director General of the Confederation of APC Support Groups, Kailani Mohammed, has called on the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar and the, P uh, the Labour Party's Peter will be to use the judicial window as provided by the Constitution to seek redress on the outcome of the tribunal's judgment. Enya Kelani, who said this while addressing journalists in Kaduna, explained that the election has again put a judicial seal on the mandate freely given by Nigerians. Nigeria has set a record. It was taken one by one. All the petitions one by one. It took about over 13 hours. I think we have to give kudos to those five justices. They are forces to be reckoned with all over the world. Justice Haruna Zamani said Obi's petition was unmeritorious and had not laid any credible evidence sufficient enough to back claims of irregularities. He appealed to the aggrieved parties to join hands with the Tinubu's administration to build a nation while calling on Nigerians to support the renewed hope agenda. Today, because of the removal of a subsidy, there are a lot of problems on ground. People want to eat. We hope all the grains they say they will be opening the storages we have in Ibadan and Kaduna here. They should open them so that grains will be readily available for Nigerians. I think that will cushion the effect of the removal. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.